Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us at Delicious Home and Garden. Today I wanted to show you what's happening this spring 2021 in our yard here in southern Ontario. All that's growing, what's new, and what to be looking forward to this summer growing season. I've started my seedlings indoors and have currently moved them outside. I'll show you where they are and what they're doing. Hey guys, it's a beautiful spring day. I just wanted to show you what's going on in the garden. So on the weekend we had a lot of rain and we cleaned up. So everything's ready to go. These are the beautiful trellises made by Michael. He did a great job. These look so amazing. And I'm gonna try to vertically grow the cucumbers and melons and stuff on it this year because I found that a lot of it got damaged by falling on the ground. So and then when you go tumbling and looking for the melons, also when you do like the other arbor, it gets damaged, the leaves, the plants gets damaged. So this way it'll be a lot better. So onions are already up and coming along. This is all the garlic peeping their heads out. So from this area here at the back to here, I'm going to turn the video here one second. So from here to this marker, I planted seeds already. Um, I did a couple rows of different radishes and um, different carrots and stuff. So hopefully in a couple of days we'll see those poke out their heads because we've been getting quite a bit of rain, so that helps. And then from this marker to here, I'm hoping to plant the um, the uh, cabbages and broccoli cauliflower. And we got this arbor already set up. So I'm planning to grow on this also, the beans this year. I think the pumpkin was a bit too much for the arbor, it was too heavy. Mind you, the arbor still held up, but we don't want to press our luck. So let me show you. So you can see everything still looks beautiful, it held up over the winter. These are little covers that I use in the greenhouse if it got if it dips below five. So just an added amount of warmth. And I just want to show you our seedlings. Here they are. Everybody's chilling out out here, getting ready. They've pretty much hardened off because <coughs> they've been out here for about almost two weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there you go. I still have the beans and cucumbers and stuff coming up in the greenhouse inside. So once those come up, I'll move them to this other outdoor spot. Where I have my rosemary from last year. So there's a little bit of what's happening in the, in the yard. I hope your babies are doing well. And down here I planted the um, strawberries. I transplanted them to here because I'm gonna change up this basket, which is where I normally have the strawberries. So I've planted them in here, moved the plants over. And it's a good time to do it now if you wanna do that. 
before they get large. So this will be like a whole strawberry area. I also put them in here because I, I didn't know I had so many strawberry babies over the, the time. It becomes a lot. So there's one more over there. Coming in. So strawberry babies, those that's eggshells. I put the bone meal and fertilizer, slow release. They got some nice rain, so that's why they're already popping up their heads. Look at the side here is already growing so beautifully. And here I planted the lettuce, the baby lettuces. Nothing yet, but it was just planted a week ago. So, only thing I have to make sure is that it gets adequate water. Here's our first daffodil. <laughs> Beautiful. I hope your garden is doing well. It makes me so happy, especially this time of COVID, to see some life. And plants are such a positive thing in people's lives. So it makes me really happy. Do what makes you happy, guys. Don't wait on anybody else to make you happy. Look at these hot peppers. These little bug catchers are amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They have flowers already on them. Can you see the marigold has a flower? Love it. So I won't leave this open all night it up soon as soon as it gets about five o'clock or so I'll close it up and in here I was planning to grow my sorrel but we'll see what happens I'm just waiting to see if they are going to come back or not um, this one had the raspberries in it and the other two was strawberries so I'm gonna wait and see if these raspberries come back. I might move them to a barrel container and put the sorrel in there. Sorrel's in here. Let me see if I can find it for you. There it is back here. Uh, there are you. Sorrel, there it is. Roselle. And that's it. I have about six or seven plants. Thanks for joining me today, guys. So spring, it's spring. So I've given up the fight with the squirrel and just decided to use these. I got them at a great price from a company out in Florida. And this is my second year using it, so I love it. Squirrel or no squirrel, I have a bit of color. It looks really pretty. And it's only a few days more until There's Michael working away. Say hi, Michael. Hi. He's making something. Always tinkering around in there. I guess it's better. 
and being a video game head sitting like a vegetable all day. So this is the front. And coming back we have the poppy. There's some psidium. I love this plant. It makes a perfect round ball. And it's great for a low maintenance gardener. Psidium. Here we have lamb's ears. Some focuses coming up. That one's real, that's not fake. <laughs> that's a real tulip, one that the squirrel didn't get. So, Andrew and I are going to be changing the front of this bed a little because we found that. The month of July is kind of dry for flowers. We're not getting much flowers because they do a lot of blooming in June and uh, May, June. So we're gonna be putting in some flowers that will be annuals that will bloom July into August. We have stuff that blooms in August also, so changing up the bed a little. And here we put charcoal from our fire pit it's really good for your garden guys your tea bags your used coffee grounds awesome for your garden well Buddha and I would like to thank you for joining us today and we hope you enjoyed the spring garden tour and we'll see you again soon Please like and subscribe and I thank you for joining me today. God's blessings.